Welcome back to Tech S. It is Brandy's coming back to you guys today with a quick video on why wireless can suck for gaming. Now, as you guys know, my E2200 recently died on me and I was waiting for an NIC to rock up in the mail, and it did today. So in the meantime, I was using a wireless adapter to play, you know, play games and do what I do. Uh, did work on the computer and it just sucked like for gaming it sucked and this was probably because I had a really thick wall in the way anyway I'll take you over to some gameplay footage I'll talk about the catch-22 involved here and also at the end I'll make some recommendations for you guys so let's move on to the gameplay video anyway so this is a game called Heroes of New Earth now this is a perfect game for showing why um, games can suck if you're getting packet loss so as you can see here I'm getting packet loss on my wireless adapter and heroes and you know things are just jumping around on the screen pretty much teleporting from time to time and this is just due to uh, packet loss and since it's a server side based game when the packets come to the client side where I am at uh, you know the this the data just says well you're meant to be here now bang so it just teleports me all across the screen it's really just jaggedy and pretty much unplayable now I'm sure if I had a, a lot better of a wireless setup this wouldn't happen now I did test this on my wife's laptop and I was only about a meter and a half away two meters from the router and you know there was no walls or anything blocking and the gameplay was really smooth so this just goes to show that yeah the wall is sort of blocking the wireless signal at my house but let's contrast this uh, now that I've installed the NIC let's have a look now so this is just popping over to me installing the NIC and you can see here the disconnect symbols have just gone away completely so there's no interrupts there's it's just smooth now the catch-22 involved with this is that if you generally if it's too difficult to route a cable and there's lots of barriers or walls in between you and your router then the wireless signal is most likely going to be bad as well uh, so that's you know that's the catch-22 involved so I always recommend uh, a cable if you can so in conclusion I will say if you guys want to go with a wireless gaming setup and you probably will do if you're going for, especially for the people with the mini ITX builds uh, you want to invest in a good wireless router and also a good um, Wi-Fi adapter now the onboard solutions from Asus and Gigabyte etc on their mini ITX boards are actually pretty damn good they got good strig signal strength um, so yeah you know there's no problems there if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on a mini ITX build then you don't have to worry about those adapters. What you will have to worry about is getting a good wireless router with a good signal. Uh, in my case, I'm sure if I had a better wireless router and a better wireless adapter, I wouldn't have the stuttering that I was getting in this video. But you know, if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, if you guys are getting these packet loss, you know, these disconnect symbols constantly in your games, and you know, you want to spend a bit more money in a wireless setup, then do so. If you can drill that hole, then certainly drill that hole as well. So. That's the, you know, that's what I've done. As I'll pull up a little quick slide for you guys here. Uh, you know, I need my RJ45 cable, so I drilled a hole, ran the cable straight to the router, and that's what I'm using at the moment. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll be catching you guys soon with the, with the live. Yeah, the live's coming tomorrow, so I'll catch you guys soon with that. And also, there's a very interesting video coming too, which is pretty cool. You'll be, you guys will love it. So anyway, peace out for now. Bye. I'll see you guys soon.